gave me those other two. I got the Ecclesiastes and then the Spirit said, look at this, look at this, and put it together and research it. And I did it. And it blew me away. And God says, see, what, what people don't realize is, is that they allow their superiorities to make them become so much better than others. But then they stop living. So now we have churches in our brotherhood been around way back here for my fifth day. I don't say my liberty city needs to exist. Look at that auditorium. You know, when I was younger, he had brothers on and on and on, so he baptized a hundred people in one month. You don't see that happening no more. We're all the hundred people he baptized today. See, the church is guilty of bragging over dead carcasses. Remember when I stopped the story in the middle of my lesson and I said Samson went down the road and a lion came. Remember I said he, he killed him. Everybody said, like, amen, amen. I didn't finish it. All I said after that was, you don't touch God's anointing. Y'all start saying amen, amen, amen. I didn't finish. He left, handled some business, and went back down the same road to a situation that was over. Because you didn't have to be afraid of a lion when he's dead. He went up, listen, he came back, and the lion was still there, but a carcass and, and bees got into the carcass. Show you God's providential care. And made honey inside the hollow shell of a lion. King of the jungle. Dead. And Samson was hungry. Samson walked up to the thing he killed by the anointing of God's power. Reached inside and took honey from a past victory. And fed himself to strengthen himself and then kept on walking. I, I watch this. I can't believe it's not about you. I'm still in trouble by that. All of us are. I'm going to say this. You know, I've been real with you ever since you've known me from all the ministry. Those who can't handle it, that's fine. People say, I know he always tried to get personal. Fine. But for those of you who don't mind me, how? Just let me be me. And this is to help you. There is not a day that some of my sins are brought before me through either memory or some knucklehead who says something. And, and that's why David says, he said, my sins are never. It is not that God is taking with you. It means that certain things we've done, it just follows. But watch what Samson teaches me. Walk back down the same road. And look at how God delivered you. Reach down in the past of that situation. And instead of dealing with the nasty rot of the carcass, deal with the blessing from the bees. And say, strengthen yourself. When David did it, Samson did it, when you are really in trouble and need encouragement, and there is no praise team. There is no pastor preaching on Sunday. I'm talking about the day you feel like going back drinking again. You feel like doing certain things you got no business doing. Your sins came back up into your mind. You got to go back down memory lane. Put your hand in the past of something that God delivered you from and strengthen yourself. Step on it. I can catch up with the elders. I can catch up with the deacon. Catch up with God. Tell you all about your problems. Let it bless you. There are more people that need to 
come. I'm not psychic and crazy. Some of you, I know you personally. Stop it. Quit letting all your faults and frailties hinder you. It's a part of your walk with God. He knew all about you before he said. That's why he said you were dead in sins and trespasses. So God is saying, if I loved you enough to save you in that condition, how much more did I put life in you? I'll bring you to my lap into a relationship and feed you from my table. I said enough. I said enough. Walk out. Wherever you are, right now. Say softly, but walk out. You bring your problems straight down to God. You wouldn't ask him, but you're not asking, just tell him thank you for bringing me into the house. Walk out wherever you are. Don't be ashamed. People, all struggles, all weaknesses, all dilemmas, every problem, every burden, every anxiety, everything that you're dealing with, come. 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 If the line goes all the way outside, just let it go around. Come. Be healed emotionally, spiritually. Don't let that setback keep you back from the Lord. Come.
someone that has mercy on this side. This touch is not to take you to lunch. This touch is not to get a phone number. This touch is because you're my brother and you are my sister. You've made us to sit together at such a age.